Welcome back to John's Films. I found a killer deal on a Creator laptop from MSI has a 4K OLED display, 11 800H, 8 core 16 thread processor, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 SODEM memory, and 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD. All of that with an RTX 3060. This is a killer deal. I want to see if I can beat it. Today we're going to go laptop shopping and we're going to see can we for $1,200 beat this deal? For the record, I am in no way affiliated with Newegg. I am not an affiliate. I have no benefit at all if you buy this laptop. I just thought this was killer, and I wanted to see if I could do better. As I did in my last laptop roundup, I'd like to review with you exactly what makes a good laptop for video editing. For me, I'm looking for a screen resolution greater than Full HD, otherwise known as 1920 by 1080. The more pixels we have on this screen, the more real estate we have to work with. Showing more timeline, showing better visibility into our scopes, everything that we can do a little bit tighter. Next, I'm looking at a processor, and I want to see six or eight cores of a modern CPU pipeline. The more recent generations of laptop chips do a much better job of power consumption, and that is the name of the game when you're talking about mobile video editing. Next, on the graphics card, on the Windows side, I'm looking for something with a discrete GPU, that is one that is not built directly into the processor because those tend to be extremely weak and not have all of the full functionality of a discrete GPU. Finally, in usability and price, I'm looking really subjectively. How well is it built? Does it have any weird quirks about it, like the Asus laptops with the trackpad way off in the corner? And on price, well, we know what we're trying to do. We're trying to beat the MSI creator deal that we found at Newegg. Again, reviewing this, we've got an 8-core, 16-thread processor, it's 2.3 gigahertz with a boost of 4.6. Checking into the connectivity of this laptop before we go find some alternatives. This has Thunderbolt 4, which allows 40 gigabits per second of bandwidth and allows it to be daisy chained out. We've got HDMI out, full size HDMI. We've got two USB type C ports, one of those being the Thunderbolt, one of them being a Gen 2 3.2 port, and several 3.2 type A's. After that, there's an audio jack. I don't have a card reader, but I do have a full-size RJ45 network port. Now, let's go see what we can do. First place that I'd like to check is probably with Lenovo. I've had some luck with the Legion laptops in the past. Frankly, they're easier to find here on the Best Buy website, and they've got the same pricing. Here is a 4K Ultra HD gaming laptop with a 5900HX in it. It has a... IPS panel, I'm going to bet. And it's got a 3060, maybe? Let's take a look. And as we take a closer look at this, it is a 5900HX, which is a fantastic processor, extremely good with battery life, great with power and uh, functionality. But this has an RTX 3050 Ti in it, 4 gigabytes of video memory, and a 1 terabyte hard drive, 16 gigabytes of RAM. This is not a bad option. This is not an OLED panel, though I have a feeling this is going to be an IPS, yes, interplane switching module that only will cover most likely the sRGB color space. And one of the major benefits of this MSI that is not immediately apparent, but shows up here when they start talking about the, dis the display, is that it is a DCI-P3 color space. You'll notice this is the sRGB color space that's displayed on the Legion laptop we just looked at. And this is the realm of visible colors displayed by the display, the OLED display, which gives you greater saturation and more accurate color representation, something that's extremely important when you talk about video editing and color correction. Let's see what other Legion options we have here at Best Buy. Here's one for twelve hundred. Let's see what we can do with this. Thirty sixty, fifty eight hundred H, five twelve, sixteen gigabytes of RAM. It's going to come down to the display, and the display is going to be probably a full HD display. But let's find out. Hey, wake up. Let's go. There we go. And jump down to display. Unfortunately, it is a 1920 by 1080 Full HD IPS display. Everything else on this laptop looks good. I even prefer the AMD chip over the 11800H, but without the display, I'm not real thrilled. Also lacks Thunderbolt. Is that it? 
Those are the four laptops. Okay. I'll save you the trouble. I went to the Lenovo website and could not find anything that is a better deal. I did have a little bit of luck over at Asus, though nothing was able to beat it. Let's take a look at what they've got. We can look at kind of what they have. They have an OLED category there. Let's shop by that. Here we are in the OLED category. What frustrates me is many of these are teased, but not actually for sale. I will point out this one because every time I do a laptop review, a whole bunch of people ask me about this one. You'll notice it has two displays. They also have an option here where this thing has a speaker grill instead of the keyboard. And this drives me insane because the trackpad's over on the right. And it's not natural after years of being programmed that the trackpad goes in the middle. <laughs> over here, it just does not function for my brain. More importantly, this extra screen provides limited utility to me and it eats battery. The display is one of the most power-hungry things on your laptop. And I'm not interested in powering another display when I'm primarily using this one up here. Next, we can go looking at Gigabyte with their Aero 17. The Gigabytes seem to be nice. They've got OLED panels in them in many of their laptops. So let's give it a shot. And I have seen several of these on sale at Adorama and other places in the past. They can get down into good pricing zone, but not anything quite like what I've seen with the MSI. So let's go to Newegg where we'll be able to search with the parametric search, which should help us. If we go to, comp oops, nope. If we go to computer systems laptops, here I'm just gonna go to all laptops and we will filter our way down from there. We would like to have something that has a 4K resolution. So I'm just gonna start with that. It's really one of the last sites I've found that gives me the option to sort by resolution. I would take a 2560 by 1440, wouldn't be too painful. I do prefer the 4K. You just get to see a whole lot more screen. And obviously these are going to be more expensive. If we can thin filter by display, if we're trying to beat that MSI, we really need that OLED display. I'm gonna search within for OLED. And now I should have all of the OLED laptops. <laughs> There's like, now I've got all the OLED laptops. There's 15 of them. Let's see what we've got. 1260, interesting. Let's find out why this is different. It's an 11800H, 16 gigabytes, 50, 3060. This is the same laptop. Why is it 1260 here? It's an open box, aha. Well, caught on to that, didn't we? Let's go back. Same laptop, more expensive open box. That's how good a deal that other one is. Nothing else is getting close. This Aero 15 might, but it's a 1660 Ti. This is old news. And this is why one of the things I'd do if I were you and searching on Newegg is always go with sold by Newegg. You'll get third-party marketplace deals that try and spike the pricing. Not what we want. Wow. Wow. You're not going to beat it. This is amazing. This is the deal that we've been looking at. It has a $200 rebate on it. And I really don't think you can get that. Let's go to Dell.com. One of the requests that I got on my last video was, could you please give me, could you please give me some options in Canada? So let's shop Canada real quick, a 4K laptop. And you can see we've got 4K. <laughs> Here's something in a similar class with an 11800, a 3070. These pricing though. What you're getting when you buy Dell, you're getting a warranty directly from Dell. And that's gonna give you, what you're getting with Dell is a warranty to Dell. And that might give you some benefit over a normal manufacturer's warranty. But overall, you're getting the same exact components in a laptop. And so you should be able to see similar pricing. Let's see what this one, is. Let's see what the 4K option in this one is. There isn't one. I wonder if I go up to the higher model, I get 4K. Nope. Well, that, that really doesn't help. So that tells me the X15 R1 is not going to come in a 4K package. In fact, I'm betting none of these do. Let's see if we've got a filter on the left. I do not. And this is what gets irritating. All right. Well, forget it. 
So next we'll go to hp.com. Here we are in the U.S. shop for HP compared to what we were just in the Canada shop. And I will have some links below for Canada-based sellers, but I would strongly recommend that new egg and just pay the import tariffs, whatever they might be. I don't think you're going to beat that. So here at HP, we want a 4K, 4K laptop. Let's see if they're able to get it right. I know these portables aren't going to be good. They've got a U processor, ultra mobile processor. And unfortunately, that means that it's just not that powerful and will be painful to work with. Let's sort by price high to low. See what we can get out of it. No. There's some sort of CSS issue here on their website. I can't get to the sort by default. If I click that, it goes to the Windows 11 stuff. This just gets irritating, doesn't it? I want to sort by highest price, but I can't. And now I'm starting to see that there aren't really any high-end laptops here. Everything is really cheap. Oh, all right. Uh, one last creator we could go check out. One last laptop manufacturer that we could go check out. Let's go to MSI directly. Hey, MSI directly should have it cheaper than Newegg, right? Laptops. Gaming. All gaming laptops. And sort by 4K. That's good. Well, that really knocks it down for me. Notice this is the gaming type Notice this is the gaming variant of the Notice this is the gaming variant of that creator laptop that we're looking at. The pictures look almost exactly the same. I'll check it at Best Buy and see what the stealth goes for. It has a 4K display, at least that's what I filtered to. So let's see. 240 Hertz. Immediately I can tell you that's going to be a full HD display. Sure enough, not a 4K display. All right, well. Who knew this was going to be so hard, huh? Instead of gaming laptops, let's look at their creative laptops. Gaming, limited editions, content creation, creator series, all content creation laptops. Now I'm going to ask for 4K. Wow. Okay, 12th gen. And this is why the laptop we're looking at is so inexpensive. It's because the 12th gen chips came out and frankly from intel they are fantastic the question is are they going to be that much better in your program of choice and my answer is probably no here they are in a p3 dci p3 here you can see we've got the same quality of display in fact it's probably the exact same skew if we compare these it's the 12 650 versus 12 700 8 core 6 core 3050 Ti versus 3060, 6 gigabytes of video RAM in that 3060, which we've got in our other one. Here, 32 instead of 16, etc. I tell you what, this is not going to be anything less than $2,000. And we can see here that this one is a QHD, Quad HD. This isn't the exact laptop I was just looking at. You can see it has 100% of the DCI-P3. It is the 6-core plus 8-core. Huh? 6 plus 8-core. Here you can see this is when Intel has gone to the efficiency cores. Speaking of which, we should go check out Apple and see what they can do for us at this price point. Unfortunately, I don't believe that the CPU is going to be so much faster that your editing experience is going to be any different, which will primarily be driven off the graphics card. Unfortunately, and while this laptop does in fact have a faster processor with efficiency cores associated with it, I do not believe that this is going to be a faster editing rig than the one that you could get for $1,200. Finally, let's go to Apple. You know, they've got a fantastic ARM-based chip here with the Mac M1, and in the MacBook Pro, we can get something for $1,299. Let's take a look at it. The 13-inch 1299 laptop comes with ooh, 256 gigabytes of storage and 8 gigabytes of unified memory. 
That is memory that is shared by the APU for both central processing unit tasks and GPU tasks. Whew, that's not enough. Okay, well, let's just, that's fine. We'll just upgrade. Ooh, 512 is 1499 and still 8 gigabytes. Let's see if we can configure this with more memory. $200. Oof, buys me 8 more gigs. $200 more dollars buys me up to a terabyte of storage, and now I'm $18.99. The display on this one is closer to the 2560 by 1440. I can't recall exactly what it is, but it's somewhere around there. And it is a gorgeous display, no doubt about it. But, uh, yeah, the core system is not going to have enough of the periphery around the M1 chip that's going to make me happy. And so with that, I have to answer no, I am unable to beat this $11.99 after rebate deal. I would have to do at least one thing and possibly two. The first thing I would do is buy an upgrade to this NVMe drive. I've got a two terabyte drive below for $199. It's an NVMe drive that is from Samsung, high quality memory, high quality storage device. You can use the link below. That would help me out. Thank you. And the second thing I would do is potentially put some more RAM into this. Make sure you get a 32 gigabyte kit. You will have to take out the 16 you have because it is two 8 gigabyte sticks and consumes all slots in the motherboard. You will need to put in two 16 gigabyte sticks to get to 32, but it's probably worth it if you're going to be doing anything with large timelines, large textures, and any type of in compute intensive stuff that you'd like to cache. All right, with that said, this is your winner of the day. Thank you for watching. There were some Canada users that were asking for Canada-specific SKUs. I've got those below. Otherwise, check out your import tariffs on this. I think it might be more... I still think even having to pay a tariff, this might be a better choice. Thank you all for your time. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.